Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about hair product. Now, I am going to be reviewing a single product, which is just a shampoo, so it's not a two-in-one. It's not got any conditioning properties. It is for body and for texture, and it's primarily for men's hair. It is this one here. So it is L'Oreal Paris LV for Men Bodybuilding Thickening Shampoo, and it's for fine thinning hair. Okay, so this shampoo Reason why I uh, reason why I picked this one up. Very often I will try different products which will boost body and texture into fine hair. I have fine hair. Um, I don't have problems with thinning hair as such, but I have fine hair and I have a lot of it. Very often it can sit quite flat if I don't use the right products. So very often I'm always looking for products which boosts texture, boosts body, and really really helps my scalp environment grow thicker, fuller hair. And of course, which gives me that first step to creating the good hairstyle which I'm always looking out for. Very often my hairstyles have a lot of uh, a lot of height, a lot of volume to them. So if I get the right core products first of all, then I'm halfway there, which is one of the reasons why I have tried this product here. So price wise, I believe this sits around about the four pounds mark. I think, I can't quite remember. I think that's about what I paid for this one. You can buy this one at most supermarkets, chemists, and you can certainly buy it online as well. Quite a varied product in certainly in availability. What's really strange about this one, and I say strange, somebody might actually be looking for a product which just addresses the actual problem as thinning hair. Well, this product isn't going to do that. What this product does is it helps the hair what you have. So for example, if you have very little hair, it's going to work on that hair to create more body, more fullness, and more texture. It's not gonna try and address those underlying problems of what's causing thinning. So for example, a lot of products such as shampoos, conditioners, treatments, will try and get to the scalp environment and will try with raw essential oils, um, caffeine, and a whole host of different, which is of course ingredients which is specialized to each brand on each product and will try to attack the cause of thinning in men's hair or women's hair. This doesn't do that. What this does is it builds which the hair you have and it builds with it to create thicker impressionist, <laughs> thicker body in hair. Now going into a little bit more detail, let's read what it says on the back here. So we have got L'Oreal Paris Alvive expert tailor-made care beyond beautiful hair. So the science of fine thinning hair. Fine thinning hair tends to lack fullness, manageability, and provides less scalp coverage. What it needs is to be reinforced with more body and better control. I would agree. Absolutely. I would completely agree. So the secret to thick up feeling hair. The L'Oreal laboratories have duplicated one of the essential natural substances vital to hair, ceramide R, and have combined it with the texturizing agents to create a new active ingredient called... Regenium XY. The formula with Regenium XY acts directly from the roots to the tips, helping to fortify the hair and leaving it full of body. Now, my only sort of issue with that would be when it says fortify, for me, that means fortification against hair loss. It's not. Fortif in this shampoo, it's fortifying the hair what you have to create body, which of course is it's a temporary effect, isn't it? Whereas for me, the word fortify means that you're going to have this long lasting effect. Whereas to be honest, as soon as you've washed that, it's going to disappear. That's my only bugbear with that on the little bit on the back there. So possibly a little bit misleading. However, it is a good product. Going on on the back here, it's got results. Seven out of men with thinning hair experienced a thickening effect. Your hair is vigorous, hair has more body and improved texture and is easier to control. Directions to use, apply on wet hair, uh, lather and then rinse, suitable for frequent use. And it's a 300ml bottle, silver packaging, quite sleek, quite masculine, and really quite a nice sort of catching product to use. Now, I've used this on and off for a couple of weeks, but it's a product which I've tried in the past, left it, gone back to it, and probably it will be a product which I would use if I was in a supermarket, I needed a shampoo, and I came across it something which would build body in my hair. I've covered that it doesn't actually try to address, in my opinion, thinning hair as such on your scalp. What it's doing is it's building on what you have. Now, of course, that's great. A few things on here which I find misleading. Still don't necessarily know what Regenium XY is, but I can see that it reinforces and provides body because I've got that here on the bottom. And I can see that it's for fine thinning hair because that's what it says here. And on the bottom here, new active ingredient, Regenium XY. I've used a lot of products by L'Oreal Professional, one of my favourite being Senioroxal, and that's one of my favourites. That gets right down at the cause of hair loss and hair thinning. 
This, on the other hand, is a bit more, I suppose, a bit more of an affordable product, um, and it's for body and hair. So moving on, I suppose it all comes from does it work? So there's a reason why I have left my hair like this about any styling product. So I thought that I would do this review of an evening when I've had a day and I washed all the hair product out of my hair. Now you can see from this here that my hair isn't ultra thick at all. I always say it's more air than hair because if you grab hold of this, it's very straight through to my scalp. It looks a lot, but actually it's just really quite puffy. Now, you're going to ask me or you're going to be thinking, did I use a shampoo? Yes. Yes, I did. And just when I get my hair out of the way there, I use a shampoo and I washed twice. So I had a lot of hair product in today. So once, you might ask, why am I doing it twice? Once to remove all the product built up in my hair and the styling product. The second time was then so for those properties. So in this case, the Regenium XY get to work on my hair. So that's second time and then hopefully getting my hair with body and texture from the actual shampoo itself. Now, I'm never a fan with just a shampoo. I would always like to go in with a conditioner, but because I can do a fair review on this, and I very often when I use this, I always go back in with a conditioner. But today, I've just used the shampoo. Now, why, why do I usually go back in with a conditioner? Because I find anything which promises for body seems to change the texture of the hair. Sometimes that's for good. Now, what this one does is it kind of makes the hair feel a little bit more rougher in texture. Now, it's not really rough as though it's dry, but it does give it a different feel. And almost sort of in a way, it's coating the hair with something. It's making the hair a bit more rougher. So it's not moisturizing, but then of course, it's not saying that it's going to be moisturizing, but it does change that texture. And of course, if you think about it, a more rougher texture will make the hair stand up more and give you natural body. And I think that's what it does because looking at my hair here, this here has no product in it. This in the front here looks as though that it's standing up quite thick. If I was to hold that up to the light, you would see that that hair is really not that thick at all. And putting it back, you see that it is fuller. The problem is that when you use this, the only thing is you have to be really quite careful because where it makes your hair quite rough and it changes your texture, you have to be careful brushing through it because it's almost like it kind of makes your hair a little bit more delicate because it's built that body up. It's It sort of pulls a little bit on your hair. That's the only thing I don't like. So there's a few things here I'm not so keen on, which is a little bit misleading, I think, of the information on the back of the bottle here. So, for example, uh, helps to fortify the hair. It doesn't. It just gets to work in making the best hair what you have. And of course, results here, hair is vigorous. Never quite know what that means. Hair is vigorous. Does that mean it stands away from the scalp more? Does that mean that it's healthier? Does my hair look vigorous now? <laughs> exactly. Um, so there's a couple of things I find misleading on here. And I would have just liked to have known a little bit more about what Reganium XY is. Sounds very scientific, very, very professional. Would like to know a little bit more about what that one is. Um, but all told for a supermarket product or just as a product for around about the four pounds mark, really, really good. Um, would I use it again? Yes, because it does give me body. As you can see, it does give my hair a nice sort of fullness and it does help me for styling my hair. And I quite like the way that it does puff your hair up. Um, and another thing, what it's really, really nice, which I will just mention, is when you're blow drying your hair, like a pompadour style, like what I um, very often have on my channel, lots of volume in the front and then flatter towards the back, you can just quickly spray out a little bit of wax in your hand, pulling it off to the side, you get a really, really nice style, it works with you, but you just have to be careful because it creates that texture, that thickness in your hair, but you have to be a bit more delicate because it's easier to pull and tug at your hair, which is not very nice. Um, on that note, I'm not necessarily quite keen on when shampoos do that, but, of course, because you can see how it does create body, it's a good product. So probably an equal par balance, but just slightly over to say that I would use the product again, certainly. In terms of smell, it's I think it's a little bit trying to be a little bit citrusy, a um, little bit chemical, chem, can't even speak, a little bit sort of chemical, but it's quite a nice fresh product, a little bit like a deodorant spray, actually. Um, but it's not not nice. Um, but it's around those sort of tones. But it's certainly a product which I would use again. Um, and it's certainly something which I would on and off continue to use. I chop and change from lots of different products. Um, this one I think was a good product to use. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my clip. I hope that you've enjoyed that and hopefully you took some tips away. So if you do see it out and about and you're looking for body and texture in your hair and you're not necessarily too worried about the sort of the thinning aspect but you're just wanting to create what you have now in the moment for thicker hair and then perhaps in the future you come back to addressing thinning hair. You may just be going through a stage where you've got finer hair at the moment and you want to really work on the body of your hair, work on creating a bit more texture. 
fantastic. Shorter hair would work great. Longer hair would probably be a little bit more difficult to get through because it is just a shampoo. You may have to use a bit more of a conditioning product over the top of that. But really, really good product to try. A few down marks on there. But of course, all whole, it's a good quality product. Once again, thank you very much for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.